You see a large stone tablet, chipped with age, with a great number of dwarven runes carved into its surface. Let's examine it. The writing is in Dwarven and appears to be a long list of names, each with a stamp of their house next to them. You recognize few of the house names. At the bottom of the list are the words, We honor those who have made the sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. The carvings are still deep enough that a tracing could be taken, allowing the information to be carried elsewhere. Shale, do you recognize this at all? No. Perhaps it thinks I should. It may have something to do with Carradine's words. If there is some way to make a copy of these runes, I am willing to study them. Perhaps there is something to be gleaned from them, I know not. What about you, Argrin? What is this, can you tell? <sighs> Names. Long list of dwarves. Wait, wait, hold on. We honor who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial of all the dwarves who became golems. Has to be. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzimar, I bet they'd brown their trousers and pay good gold for it. Mm, probably both. Hmm. All right, sounds good. Let's make a tracing of the table or the tablet. The ancient runes are, tra are traced into a stack of papers which you store in your pack. Alright, even more stuff to take back to the shapery. Or shaperant, I should say. Alright, finally we can return to Orzammar victorious. We have a bunch of quests that we need to finish. Well, that pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Yes, to the assembly. They need to know about this as soon as possible so that we can get our army. Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order! This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now! My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. Well, Warden, what news do you bring? I bring a, a crown forged by Caradin on the Anvil of the Void. Caradin was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Caradin forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. I would like to believe Argren's word, but it's well known the Grey Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! This crown is of Paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? He wished me to give it to whomever I choose. Why would a Paragon trust someone who knows nothing of us with such a decision? This is preposterous! We've argued in these chambers for too long. The will of the Paragon is that the Grey Warden decide. <laughs> and of course here, if you like to play Dwarven politics, we could have supported one or the other this whole time, but that at the very last moment, we could, at this point, give the crown to someone else. In this case, we could just give the crown to Haramont and really shake things up. But, uh... You know, the votes were for Balin, and Vexus tends to play things straightforward if he can. So I grant the crown to Balin. At last, this farce has ended, and I can take my rightful place on my father's throne.
let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orzammar. Do you acknowledge me as king? I cannot defy a paragon. The throne is yours, King Balin. And as my first act as king, I call for this man's execution. Guards, seize him! Paramount was an honorable rival. Let him retire in peace. You know better than anyone the war facing us, Warden. Orzammar cannot afford to be divided. Anyone undermining my reign is serving only the Darkspawn. I will return to my palace to gather my generals and prepare our forces for the surface. I will see you there, Warden. You have my gratitude for all you have done for me. You have proven yourself and more, Warden. Without your aid, I would not have taken this throne so smoothly or so soon. Oh, you thought it was inevitable that you would take it, hmm? Well, I may not approve of your, of your methods, but it is true that you will probably be a stronger king than Haramont would have been. His name need not pass your lips again. My generals are already preparing for a mission to the surface. When you have need of us, you shall have every able-bodied dwarf in Orzammar. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. This was a maul favored by my brother Trian. Take it with you, as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now, I have much to do. If there is nothing else... <laughs> you can ask for a big statue. <laughs> no, I will return to the surface. And I do thank you for your aid. Good luck, Warden. May we both crush our enemies. I pray that you will never have too few enemies, Prince Balin. Or should I... <laughs> at least for now, King Balin. And already he has a line of nobles to just stand around and pay fealty to him. Uh, I feel a little dirty. But we get some nice levels up for our companions. Uh, looks like Zevron is well on his way to some nice lockpicking skills, which is excellent. Shale gets a boost. Let's see, give him some willpower. Or her, I should say her now. Now that I know the truth. And for ourselves, level 13. Lucky 13. Ah, uh, we need some more cunning. And let's do fireball. Every wizard needs fireball spell. Okay. Now we should probably head over to the Shaperit. Because we got a lot of stuff to give them.